Hey everyone, today I will see how to add comment uh, using MultiCollab uh, in another way. Um, as you know, the MultiCollab has a great Google Doc style inline commenting feature. So we will see how what are sort of different ways where you can use MultiCollab to add uh, editorial comment or um, you know a basic comment to yourself or a self note. There are multiple ways you can use MultiCollab most essential function that people love which is commenting inline commenting so I'll show you three different ways to use that um, I assume you already have MultiCollab installed on your WordPress startup if not go ahead um, and install that there is a free version available on wordpress.org or you can also go to a website www.multicollab.com uh, and you can uh, get a premium subscription. So once you have installed MultiCollab, um, let's assume that you have started um, drafting the content. So you, I'm right now on the content editor, which is a block editor, also known as the Gutenberg editor. So here uh, you draft your blog post and content. So uh, let's say you all I already have typed my content here. So once you're typed in or you're typing in, uh, basically, let's say when you select, if you notice to me, as soon as you um, select any part of the text or just uh, bring your cursor there, you know, you will see this little toolbar here. So here there is this uh, new comment icon. If you select any text, any part of the text, in this case, I select this sentence and if you click on that it will uh, pop up uh, it will give you this comment box where you can add uh, right something like that so you click on that and uh, your comment is added here one thing you notice that it here it says that there are unsaved comments so the way it works is all the comment that you add here um, once you saved your draft or the draft is automatically saved after that those comments will actually save into database or on your um, uh, website until that those all just like this content and uh, uh, comments it will be sort of like temporary so make sure that you hit save draft and after that your comments will also be finalized all right so the one way is to using this button second way to add a comment is uh, when you select any part of the text or let's say paragraph you have noticed that there is another way that this little toolbar that you see here uh, this is called a floating toolbar and that's where you can uh, add a comment or enable suggestions right now we are just focusing on comment so select the text and then you click on this button and then um, I think we should revise this so this way you can also um, using use that toolbar uh, the toolbar basically work anywhere so if there is an image if you want to uh, I don't like this image right so you can select any media or text and then that will um, then you can use that floating toolbar so that's uh, the second way and now let's go to our third option so third option is a keyboard shortcut so just like uh, you are using the keyboard shortcut if you hover let's say if I select this part uh, if you see the if I hover on that button you'll see the uh, I'm using a Mac computer so I can see my command option and M shortcut but if you are using a window you can use con control alter M and I believe this is the same shortcut that we use uh, to add comment into Google Docs so it's very similar to that so select any part and if I do command option and M so then I can also add and you can also mention any user so you can choose uh, select any user in the system and then uh, you can also mention them and then they will also be invited uh, can you check this so this is also a way where you can mention an user in the in the system and then one more thing I wanted to highlight is pretty much you can comment on any 
type of uh, uh, media or text in the post. Um, but there are some blocks, maybe if there is a dynamic block uh, or um, let's say if like reusable blocks like that. So we are still working on uh, allowing you to comment on the individual part of the text, but you, you can certainly add comment into the entire block. So if you see, if I click on that, if I, this is a reusable block, so um, uh, I, I cannot actually add a comment right now on the just select so some part of the text, uh, but if I try to do that, I will not be able to. But if I select the entire block, I can actually add a comment to entire block. This is a comment on a block. So yeah, you can comment on entire block as well using multicolab. So yeah, these are the three different ways um, you can add a comment and this is how uh, multicolab commenting works. Uh, thanks for using multicolab.